What's going on YouTube? Got an autograph from LA recap video for Monday, uh, September 15th. Uh, got a good, pretty good packaging today from one of my buddies back in Virginia. He said once I got down to uh, school, he had some cool stuff to send me. So I got that in, and then I've also had a few uh, IP events over the last few days. We'll start off with the uh, the IP events. The first one I went to was the uh, Went to the Florida State League Championship Series, uh, Daytona Cubs versus the Fort Myers Miracle. And I only got one player's autograph, but it's the one I wanted. I got a 2014 first-round draft pick of the Cubs, uh, Kyle Schwarber. Really nice guy. I got him to sign two uh, official Florida State League baseballs. And then this one. So he was a really nice guy. Even the game I went to, the, the Miracle actually won the championship. So Daytona was eliminated, and he was still really nice to fans. And then the, the next one I went to was in Stark, Florida. Uh, it's WWE NXT uh, live show. This, this show was kind of bad because a lot of our top stars were off uh, traveling with the main roster of WWE. So this show was kind of light. Uh, still fun, but uh, missing a lot of star power. The meet, the meet and greet was NXT Diva Becky Lynch, and then the tag team of Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy. So got them to sign the uh, meet and greet picture. And then the biggest surprise of the event was. One of the newest WWE signees, uh, Prince Devitt, uh, an indie wrestling star, was there. So I got him to sign this picture. Hopefully I can get Kenta to sign it pretty soon. I've had run-ins with him a few times, and I don't know if it's just a language barrier, but he won't even look at fans. And then also, uh, I picked these up on eBay. Uh, I started going to NXT shows around October of 2013, and I was surprised how, at all the shows I went to, nobody sold any kind of merchandise, or any kind of t-shirts, programs, which is weird, because WWE likes to sell a lot of stuff. But from what I heard, like right before I got there, they used to sell really good merchandise, and a um, few of the things people kept talking about were these tour books, they, they were uh, like programs, they sold but nobody knew where to find them, and it was supposedly they're like supposed, supposed to be pretty rare. Well, I found these two on eBay. Uh, first one was the 2013 tour book. It, it came already signed by a few people, uh, Darren Young and Titus O'Neil, and then there's a few more already in the book. But uh, a few a few of these guys are still here with NXT, so I'll definitely get those that one signed. Then my favorite one that I found was the 2012 tour book, and it just so happened to be signed right here on the cover by uh, the NXT champion at the time, Seth Rollins. And again, already signed by a few, but I'll get the rest that are still here. And then I just picked up the 2011 tour book on eBay uh, back when they were still Florida Championship Wrestling. So uh, that was pretty good. And then for the uh, big surprise package that I had waiting for me, uh, he sent me three baseballs and a few other little non autograph things. First one was a game-used uh, Carolina League ball signed by Myrtle Beach Pelicans outfielder Lewis Brinson. When this guy came to Potomac, he had some kind of attitude and wouldn't sweet spot. So my buddy said he had an extra one for me. And the next two are just amazing. First one is a, it looks like a clean uh, Carolina League ball signed by new Boston Red Sox outfielder Mookie Betts. I didn't end up getting him when he was in the Carolina League, so I'm glad to add that one. But then my favorite one was he went to see this guy on rehab with the Frederick Keys. And he, without me even asking, he just 
instinctively picked one up for me. That was uh, Baltimore Orioles pitcher Dylan Bundy on an official Major League ball. So I'm definitely happy to add that one to the collection. Alright guys, thanks for watching.